Hello, uh, I'm Lee, welcome to the Book Smoke, uh, or welcome to another Thursday Tales. If you don't know, Thursday Tales is my version of Friday Reads, but on a Thursday because I'm busy at work on a Friday. Um, so, the book I'm currently reading is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. Um, it's a really good book, I love how, if you follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture and a little quote and I said how deliciously dark it is, and it really is, and it's an amazing book so far. I thought I'd be further through it by now, but I'm not. On page 141 of, of like, 370. Um, so, not even halfway, but it is really good, and I can't wait to do a review of this. Um, and also, uh, I have a book haul as well, as you've probably seen from the title. Um, well, I have a book haul and an unboxing. I'm going to start with the unboxing. So... I have a book here that was sent to me uh, by Hodder and Stoughton, and this is courtesy of Bookbridger. I requested it on Bookbridger, um, and I'm not sure what it is. I think I know, but I'm not sure, so I'm going to open it. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, okay. It's not the one I was expecting. I got Those Above by Daniel Polanski. And this is The Empty Throne, book one. And this is gorgeous. It's a hardcover, it's beautiful. Let's have a look under the... Uh, the dust jacket is just plain, but it's got this like gold copper writing. And this is already out. And it says... To the east was a smaller coterie of heavy cavalry, still and silent, the only flicker of movement coming from their coloured banners and the trailing of gossamer streamers which the wind stretched behind them. From such a height you might have made the mistake of thinking them as being of the same species as their foes. But this would have been a very great mistake indeed, and a closer perspective would swiftly have dis disabused such foolishness. They wore closed helms with visages strange and terrible, chimerical amalgamations of animals and monsters, exquisite craftsmanship put in service of including, of inducing wonder and fear. They carried pronged lances the length of fully grown elms, jewelled great axes of improbable size, tapered swords and multi-headed flails, a dazzling array of tools for doing violence. No sound heralded their charge, no flag or sign, only the rapid beat of hooves, the par the particoloured host of cavalry surging forward in perfect unison, as a skein of geese wheel in flight, as a hawk descends upon a marmot. <sighs> to be fair, that synopsis is a bit strange, but what I know about this book is, I think it's a high fantasy. Um, yeah, and obviously it's the first book in The Empty Throne, and it has an amazing cover. Absolutely amazing. But I've heard really good things about this. A lot of people have been sent this from Book Bridger. So I am excited to read it. And the press release says that it was released. It doesn't say when it was released. It just says, from highly acclaimed fantasy author Daniel Polanski comes the first in an enthralling and explosive new epic fantasy series, The Empty Throne. Book one is Those Above. So yeah. That's that. I would read the whole thing, but there's a lot of info on there, as you can see. So I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I've read the synopsis. So that should give you an idea of what it's about. Um, and then I have five books that I bought recently, and I will show you them. So the first thing I bought is The Farm, and this is by Tom Rob Smith. And there's a theme to these books. They're all kind of they're all kind of uh, crime books, but this is The Farm. And it says, Your mother, she's not well. She's been imagining things, terrible, terrible things. Everything that man has told you is a lie. I'm not mad. I need the police. None of what she claims is real. If you refuse to believe me, I will no longer consider you my son. So, that's all you get from the synopsis. Oh, hang on. So here is another synopsis on the inside. It says, Daniel thought that his parents were safe 
were safely in Sweden, enjoying a peaceful retirement on their remote farm. With a single phone call, everything changes. Your mother, she's not well, his father tells him. She's been imagining things, terrible, terrible things. In fact, his mother has been committed to a mental hospital. Then she calls Daniel. Everything that man has told you is a lie. I'm not mad. I need the police. Whom should he believe? Whom should he trust? Daniel becomes his mother's unwilling judge and jury as she presents him with an urgent tale of secrets, lies and a crime and conspiracy that implicates his own father. It is for him to examine the evidence and decide for himself who is telling the truth. So I thought that sounded really interesting and I picked it up because it was cheap. And the next one I got is Forensics, The Anatomy of Crime by Val McDermid. Val McDermid is a very famous crime writer. I believe she has written, you know the crime TV show, I think it's The Wire or Wire in the Blood? One of those, she wrote uh, that. can't remember what it is. But yeah, this is just uh, like, it says in her novel, Val McDermott has been solving complex crimes and confronting unimaginable evil for years. Now she's taking a look at the people who do it for real. The forensic scientists who can unlock apparent mysteries and help deliver justice thanks to their ability to read the messages left by a corpse, a crime scene or the faintest of human traces. Drawing on interviews with top-level professionals, groundbreaking research and her own experience, McDermott lays bare the secrets of these fascinating speci specialists. We learn how maggots can point to the time of death. We discover how a DNA trace a millionth the size of a grain of salt could be used to convict a killer. We realise how hard it is to erase our digital footprints. It's a journey that will take us to war zones, fire scenes and autopsy suites and bring us into contact with extraordinary bravery and wickedness as McDermott traces the history of forensics from its earliest beginnings to the cutting edge science of tomorrow. And I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm really interested in uh, like crime and how um, killers think and all that stuff. So I just thought it sounded really interesting. I mean, I haven't actually read anything by Val McDermott. But I've, I know of her, obviously. Um, and yeah, I just thought it sounded really interesting. The next book I picked up is also a crime book, Shock. And it's The Ice Twins by S.K. Tremaine. As you can see, it was only £5 in Asda. And it was originally £12.99. But this says... One of Sarah's daughters died, but how does she know which one? But does she know which one? A year after one of their identical twin daughters, Lydia, dies in an accident, Angus and Sarah Moorcroft moved to the tiny Scottish island, Angus, in Angus inherited from his grandmother, hoping to put together the pieces of their shattered lives. But when their surviving daughter, Kirsty, claims they have mistaken her identity, that she, in fact, is Lydia, their world comes crashing down once again. As winter encroaches, Angus is forced to travel away from the island for work. Sarah is feeling isolated and Kirsty, or is it Lydia, is growing more disturbed. When a violent storm leaves Sarah and her daughter stranded, Sarah finds herself tortured by the past. What really happened on that fateful day one of her daughters died? So I thought that sounded really interesting and yeah I really like this cover and it's hardcover and it was only a fiver as originally 12 99 And the next two books I got from a charity shop. The first one is Leaving Berlin by Joseph Cannon. And this is kind of a bit different for me. This is like historical fiction-ish. And I said I wanted to get more into this kind of book, this these books this year. But this says, Alex Mayer, a young Jewish writer, fled the Nazis for America before the war. But the politics of his youth have now put him in the crosshairs of the McCarthy witch hunts. Faced with deportation and the loss of his family, he makes a desperate bargain with the fledgling CIA. He will earn his way back to America by acting as their agent in his native Berlin. But almost from the start, things go fatally wrong. Filled with pulse-pounding intrigue in a city where trust is dangerous and loyalty can be lethal, Joseph Cannon's masterful new thriller brings a shadowy period of history vividly to life in all its moral ambiguity and complexity. So yes, I, th I just thought that sounded really interesting and I really like this cover. And it came out last year and I got it for £2.50. And this one was originally £2.99 too. And then the last book I have to show you 
is this, which also came out last year. This is The Smoke is Rising, and it's by Mahesh Rayo, I think. And I absolutely love this cover and the spine. It's just gorgeous. And it says, The future is here. India has just sent its first spacecraft to the moon, and the placid city of Mysore is gearing up for its own global recognition with the construction of Heritage, Art of Heritage Land, Asia's largest theme park. From behind the formidable gates of Mahalakshmi Gardens to the shanty houses on the edge of the town, the people of Mysore are abuzz as they watch their city prepare for a complete transformation. As government officials make plans for the expected tourism extravaganza, Mysore's residents find themselves swept up in the, fer in the ferment. Shashila, an elderly widow, is forced into a secretive new life. Uma, trying to escape her painful past, learns the lasting power of local gossip, and Marla must finally confront the reality of her husband's troubling behaviour. Savagely funny and deeply poignant, The Smoke is Rising is a riveting portrait of a city hurtling towards an epic clash of, moder of modernity and tradition, and all the wandering souls, some hopeful, some broken, and a few somewhere in between, who find themselves caught in the middle. So yeah, this sounds good as well. This came out last year and I got it for £2.50, and it was originally £14.99. So, some bargains. So yeah, those are all the books I have to show you today. Uh... Please let me know if you've read any, what you thought about them, as per usual. Uh, <coughs> sorry. Uh, if you want to know anything about them, um, ask me and i tell you. Um, yeah, but I'm excited for all of them, obviously. Um, yeah, so that is my video today. It's a bit longer than normal because of the book haul as well. Uh, yeah, but I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wish, you may subscribe. And I will see you again soon. Oh, goodbye.